Right, we're in the studio with the time takers today. Basically, we want to find out the sort of equipment you're using to make hits and, um, you know, what you're working on now, what you're working on next. Basically, take us through it. What's this track you're working on right now? Um, basically, this is a track that we actually did a little while ago. We've just revamped basically back up. So it just sounds more tamping and that. Yeah, but, so it sounds um, a lot bigger. The, the biggest secret we use, like uh, everybody should use it, is like a plastic cup and a fork. <laughs> <laughs> is that the truth right there? Seriously, we actually record like uh, different bits of percussion with um, cups and uh, yeah, no, we do pick different. up different sounds. Even when we're driving, if the police are chasing us, we try and get the siren noise, but from yeah. a distance of driving past them. Then you can sample it and loop it, and there you go. It's just a little kick. And, and then and it never stops for us. All of a sudden, like weekends, a weekends, usually Alex gets a little drunk and walks into things, and I record him walking <laughs> into things, which is kind of cool. What are you using for this type of recording? Uh, logic, 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 yeah. and uh, synchronized with reason, Ableton, and some bits are connected with PC, so PC and Mac connected at the same time. So it's a lot of stuff going it's, on. It's Turntables connected as well when we hear some ideas and grooves and stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff going on basically. We just, yeah, we basically just spend a lot of time with wires connecting up stuff. Like worst case scenario, you know, it's, you're going to get something, even if it's just the sound of the power cutting in your house. <laughs> it's, you're going to get some sort of sound. So. Yeah, for us, it's just, just out. messing about with stuff and then creating something. And obviously, because of the whistle tune is so different to everything else that's out, we've sort of put ourselves in that situation where people are always going to expect some sort of difference. So for us to be different, we've got to do different things to what other producers will do and sort of investigate. Using different, different ways equipment. of making music and stuff yeah. like that. So the whistle tune, you touched on that. I mean, that track's massive right now. It's blown up in all the clubs. Um, the sound's amazing. Everyone's obviously wondering what you used to make that track. Tell me tell me the process. What what was the process of making that tune? A, a bit of peanut butter. A lot of coffee, to be honest. Yeah. It took us peanut a lot butter on a long night. Um, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it's kind of... It's, it's a lot of sounds put in together. It's about eight seven sounds to make one sound you know it sounds is, like one sound but it's, it's a, a bit like it's a bit like making dinner but you don't actually know what you're going to make so you just get you have you get ingredients, ingredients yeah. and you just basically mess with it and then you take a chance and you eat it and one or two ways you're either going to get food poisoning or you're going to like it and it's a bit like with the music you're going to try it. it's either going to sound completely rubbish or you're going to say this is something special so what is Wicked, wicked. And tell me about, um, you got a lot of festival gigs this year, 2011, the summer of the smash of She Blows. Um, you got Wireless Festival. Tell me a bit about that. What should the people expect from you guys? Um, just a lot of anthem stuff, man. Just yeah, a lot of stuff they've never heard before. Jumping up and down, a lot of bootlegs made by us. That's what um, people should expect, some um, interesting bootlegs of big tunes. Yeah, we want to keep it interesting. I mean, table. for us, it's like the vision's always been big arenas, it's always been big anthems. We never really thought about making a track that would just sound good in a room. So we've always thought a lot of people jumping up and down to our tunes. So this is obviously a great opportunity. It's, there's a lot of big acts there. So for us, we're going to play tunes that no one's ever heard before, but we know are going to just make some serious atmosphere in there and make people go home and want to go and get those tunes. We say probably won't be able to, <laughs> but that's the plan. Mm -hmm. 